Hi there, this is your reading with me for their thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. So we have all of these beautiful groups. We have group one, group two, group three and group four, whichever one you're most drawn to. Take your pick and we will see what their thoughts, feelings and intentions are towards you with a tarot and also some message cards as well. So yeah, we're really going to go in depth, have a look, see what's happening and uh, I hope you're all doing okay um, or at least very well um, of course. So yeah, we're going to have a look. We're going to see um, if you would like to um, purchase a private paid reading with me. Information is also in the description box below. Um, they're done within 12 to 24 hours with me and all the information on how to purchase is linked down below. Um, these readings are, of course, this one is timeless. So from whenever you're watching this, um, it can still make sense to you. And also, I was just going to say as well, the timestamps for each of the groups is also down below as well. So yeah, definitely do um, check out the timestamps and also there's intention manifesting items on my website which thousands of people have seen results with so definitely do check out my website shopmoonlightguidance.com if you're interested there's items such as handmade bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow wallet or your purse which are hand embroidered by me and there's also intention pouches as well the different spices and herbs inside for different areas of your life which also include like love, twin flame, soulmate, reconciliation, no contact, things like that and everything is meditated with and saged and there's also like sage and crystals and all sorts on there so do check it out if you're interested. So we're going to start first of all with group one so I'm going to move the other three groups to the side and then we'll get started straight away. All right. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, group number one, let's have a look and see what their thoughts, feelings and intentions are towards you. I'm going to do a 12 card spread. We're going to get sort of um, four tarot cards for each section, so their thoughts, feelings, intentions. I'm also going to get a message card out for each aspect as well, so I'm using these Realms Mercury Edition two cards. And yeah, let's have a look and see what's happening. So you've chosen this beautiful pink crystal. I'm going to put that on the side right here. All right, let's begin. So let's first and foremost have a look at their thoughts towards you. Okay, four cards. The sun is shining today, the lighting is on point. I love it, <laughs> I love it. It's a good energy. Okay, well, that came out very fast. So, we have here Fortuna. which is, by the way, the name of this deck as well. We have the Oracle, we have the Lovers, and we have the Chariot. Now, I have used these cards before, all right? I just want to say that because I know they've come out in sort of like a, a consecutive sort of order, but I have used these cards before, and you can go to my channel and, and see that I have used them, shuffled them, etc. not, you know, put them back in order in that sense. So uh, it's really interesting here because... I felt a really good energy as we started and on top of that as well I really did sense um, quite a significant vibe in regards to sort of progression, um, bloom and growth so it's quite fascinating here that their thoughts towards you are pretty positive, not gonna lie, you know they are feeling progressive with the chariot which we see here, let me just order these cards for you here. Alright so I think Fortuna is very interesting because that's sort of the energy of like the Wheel of Fortune, right? It's the number 10, which is the pinnacle. So they do think about how things can come together for the two of you. They think about how things can progress, how things can move forward. They do also think about a future, right? So these are their thoughts that we're talking about. They also, with the chariot, think about how things could progress forward, what they could do, how things could um, move in that particular direction. So these are all things that they are very much so consciously aware of and thinking about, all right? And also with the oracle as well, they very much so do think about, you know, commitment and how things could progress. Like that really is in the back of their mind. And I do also feel here that they do love you. That is definitely a thought that has crossed their mind. I mean, when you've got the lovers, the fortune card, when you've got the chariot, which is also that energy of sort of yin and yang and that mutual sort of energy, but also that nurturing Cancerian energy. I mean, trust me when I say there are feelings of love absolutely involved, especially with the Oracle card. 
basically they're thinking about how things could work between the two of you in the future, but in a really positive way, because they know that things can progress, things can move forward here, and that things can come together. Um, so, you know, they're pretty, pretty optimistic about their, their thoughts. So let's have a look at their feelings, all right? We have here Prince of Tasmans. We have, I love these cards, they're so beautiful. Also the energies are pretty exciting. Ace of Elixirs. their feelings. Prince of Elixirs. Princess of Elixirs. Wow, again, progressive energy. <laughs> like I mentioned, I have used this deck before, just want to mention that. Okay, so very, very clearly from what I can um, see here, there's a really, really progressive and very powerful energy of um, court cards, right? So the court cards here are the pursuing energies they feel like they need to be doing something. They feel like time is running out with the Ace of Elixirs, that they need to express their emotions or else they could potentially lose you. So they are getting slightly triggered where they're thinking, okay, well, I better say something. I better do something. Like, don't want to lose this entire situation. Don't want to lose you. I better go ahead and make something happen here. So their feelings are leading them to feel quite triggered to basically want to come to you. So I see here that action can be taken, progression can happen. It is a process, which is something that we are picking up on, but it very much so can happen here, okay? So their feelings are of love, which we mentioned, you know, they, they do love you. So that is, of course, a feeling. Um, the Prince of Talismans here is about, um, they feel like they need to do more, right? They need to take action. The Prince of Elixirs and the Princess of Elixirs also is that, they feel like you are life partner material, that the two of you could really build something beautiful and that you can progress here. So those are their feelings, like they feel like you're so kind, so caring, very genuine, really open, very honest as well, and um, that you would really stand by them. So that's what we have in terms of feelings. Let me just um, get the Mercury card here for their thoughts and then of course for their feelings and then we'll go to intentions, right? Okay, so thoughts. They've been thinking about your birthday. Just keep in mind that whenever your birthday is in relation to when you're watching this, not when the video is posted, but when you're watching this, um, they very much so are thinking about your birthday. So that's very interesting. Okay, so that's a thought that we have there, which you can't really see the card, but I'm just going to leave it there. Your birthday. <laughs> okay, feelings wise. Maybe I could get half the message on there. You can kind of see it. There we go. Feelings wise. <laughs> Feelings wise, I need money. That's interesting, isn't it? Like they, they could be, um, for some of you, they could be sort of held back a little bit as well because they're really focusing on finances, building themselves up. The feelings are that they, they need to make something out of their life and they also very much so want stability here. So they do think about, you know, the financial aspect of this connection and how much they can give you and what they can do and how much they want, you know, to be a provider and for stability, whether they're male or female. Keep that in mind, whether you're male or female they still feel this way. All right, so that's very, very interesting there. The feelings, I need money, but I want to be with you. I need to figure myself out, work on myself, but I still want to be with you. So it's interesting that I need money energy. They're maybe really heavily focused on their finances right now. Um, so that's something we see. Sorry, there's like crystal residue that sort of gets everywhere and it scratches the table. You can see all these, you might be able to not, you know, I don't think you will be able to, but there's like scratches on my table because of crystals. Be careful, guys, if you have crystals, all right? <laughs> Not the polished ones, like the raw ones. They really do scratch surfaces. Okay, intentions. Their intentions towards you, should I say. Well, I just literally knocked the entire spread out there with their intentions. Let me put my spread together again. There we go. All right, ah, there we go. Right, so first of all, we have the hanged one, okay? So they're a bit 
held back, they may be a bit quiet, they may not be saying things so quickly, they may not be doing so much so quickly. Um, of course, it is very much so a process. So the hanged one really does show that honestly, like just let them come towards you. Their intention here, yeah, is to do something. Like it's to resolve the entire situation. It's to make things come together into balance and harmony. And that's very much so where their focus is. They do want things to progress naturally and to come together naturally as well. I think the intentions is also their actions in many ways that they do want things to work out. Ultimately, that's what I see is that they would like things to work out with you. They would like things to progress with you. It is a process as we're seeing. And the hanged um, one is also to do with Neptune. They feel such a strong spiritual connection with you and they feel like you really are very, very special. But um, of course, they are also trying to focus on other aspects of their life to get together to build and have that form of stability as well. So that's another thing we see there. And then we have here the sun, right? So their intentions are to grow the connection. Remember, I did mention like bloom and growth right? And I was also talking right at the beginning about how the sun was shining and it just was such a good energy. Again, that energy has come back around because I really felt it in all honesty. And you can see by just the cards themselves that the sun here does show that they want things to progress. They want things to come together. They want to be with you. And so their intentions will align to their thoughts and their feelings, which we see here to actually make things happen. So it's not like, oh, they have these thoughts and feelings and then boom, they do nothing about it they will do something about it. They will actually take action with justice. They will allow things to come together and progress. They're not gonna just sit there and not do anything. I mean, right now, perhaps, you know, some of them could be, because, you know, this is a general reading. For some of you, they may be a little bit more withdrawn. For some of you, you may not really even have contact with this person, but they will come forward and they'll take action and want to resolve things in the connection. Got a nice purple vibe here going on. <laughs> I just noticed that as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the last tarot card. Okay, so we've got cards flipped over. I'm gonna take that top card, all right? There's so many cards that flipped over. It is the Two of Pentacles. I mean, it's probably not what it's called in this deck. It's probably not called the Pentacles because as you can see, the names are quite different but it's it's that vibe. <laughs> um, so we've got here um, this Two of Pentacles energy, right? So that here shows that it's, it's really about that mutual energy, it's about harmony, it's about balance, which are things that I've just been mentioning over and over and over again. This is also about allowing things to come together, it's about things being mutual, but also the earth energy here really represents things coming together for more of that sort of long-term aspect as well and wanting things to work with you. So in a lot of cards, actually, you've got this mirroring energy. You have it here. You know, if you were to, like, mirror this card, you could. Um, here as well. Here. Here. You, th there's a lot of mirroring energies, especially with um, the two keys crossed over as well, which is sort of that energy there. So, yeah, they, they want to make things as mutual and as equal, you know, between the two of you. That's something I do see. So let's see. Intentions. There's a card that's flipped over. Let me, let me show you. Oh, there's two that's flipped over. Should we take both of them? They must have flipped over at some point. I want to live with you. Okay, that's that will be their intention. Well, it is also their intention. I just feel like right now they're trying to build themselves up. And I took you for granted. I hate myself for that. So... They will feel bad, okay? There's a sense of regret here. There's a sense of, I should have done a lot more. I should have been more progressive. I should have been more proactive. Um, I, you know, just should have been more progressive towards you, more open towards you, not so withdrawn um, and done a lot more, basically. So and that's really what we're seeing in the grand scheme of things. And also, I see here that they will want to build a life with you. That's ultimately what I see with, I want to live with you. And also the fact that they have taken you for granted and they feel really, really, you know, quite bad about that, I would say, as well, which uh, is really going to lead them in a direction towards you. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's really the big, the big thing that we see, right? So their thoughts, feelings and intentions will align together, which is a, actually a very good sign. And um, yeah, we see progression, basically. Isn't that good? I would say very good. Um, so yeah, that is basically what we do have here. 
group number one. So of course, if this uh, resonated with you, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, um, as I do private readings as well on the same day, actually, within 12 to 24 hours. So if you are interested in one with me, um, you can check out the information down below. Um, of course, the intention items are there as well, which thousands of people have seen results with. And um, yeah, there's also um, all the info down below for you to check out. Um, but aside from that, you know, I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and take care everyone. All right, so now I go to group number two. So I'll take these away. All right. Alright, group number two, let's have a look and see their thoughts, feelings and intentions towards you. We're going to have a look and see. So you have chosen the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck with the blue crystal, which I'm just going to put over here. So we're going to look at their thoughts, feelings, intentions, four cards for each, which will make up the base of like a 12 card spread. And then I'm also going to grab an... Um, a message card for each of the um, sections, you know, thoughts, feelings, intentions. We'll go with it and I'll, I'll show you everything as I go through it just to make it easier. So let's have a look at their thoughts, all right? Let's have a look at their thoughts. Ooh, six of cups, okay. So many of you, you know, you can kind of see what I look like in the cards. And so many of you ask, like, Moonlight, when can we see your face? Um, <laughs> you can literally see it in the display picture as well. <laughs> I also have Instagram, you know. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, find it nice that you can, like, really concentrate on the cards um, rather than on me. So that's why I just do it like this. Um, anywho, so... Right, their thoughts. Now, I am an upright reader, okay, so I thought I'd just mention that. All right, their thoughts. They are obsessed with you here. Really obsessed. I mean, I'll tell you one thing, that if you move on to, like, somebody else, they would be very, very upset about things. And trust me on that, because look at the devil, right? The devil here, devil is obsession. And the nine of swords here shows that they have a lot of worries and a lot of stresses right now in their life, which just really keep them in a place of like not feeling good, not feeling happy. The king of cups shows that emotionally they feel so connected to you. You have never made them feel this way before, right? No one's ever made them feel this connected to someone. Does that, does that make sense? You have made them feel connected romantically like no one else has for them. I really just hope that makes sense. Basically, the kind of love that they feel towards you, no one's made them feel that way before, which I think is really interesting because I used the L word. I dropped the L bomb. Keep that in mind. I just feel like they have a lot of stresses and they have a lot going on here. And so in many ways, they, they could be doing this very hot, cold, push-pull, situation where sometimes you feel like they're really obsessed and they're coming towards you constantly and uh, you're getting dreams and signs and synchronicities about them or physically they're like showing you that through action and then suddenly sometimes they could be very cold and they can see very seem very disinterested and um, a bit more withdrawn and I think that's because emotionally they do have some struggles going on. Now this isn't to do with you, but it's more so to do with other factors. It could be to do with career, it could be to do with family issues, and it could also to do with um, perhaps feeling quite down as well. So that's really what is taking away their energy. Now, as soon as they like heal from that, you know, because time is the greatest healer and they won't be feeling like this forever, their feelings towards you just get stronger and stronger. So this needs to be healed. And then basically once that's healed, this is what's left, which are their genuine thoughts towards you. What happens as well, and I actually mention this a lot in um, um, in other readings as well, so if you've heard it before, 
<laughs> that's why, <laughs> is um, what happens is, right, this is their feelings towards you. This already exists. However, when someone's not feeling great, there's like a layer that goes on top of it, right? And that is their all the other things going on. So when they access their feelings, they hit this top layer first, right? This needs to be healed, and then they'll naturally have access to all of these feelings that were always there. You know when someone's physically not feeling very well, or someone's got food poisoning, no matter who they have around them, no matter who is there for them, they just don't, they're just not like themselves, right? Because they're actually sick. Like, they can't act like themselves, they can't be like themselves, they can't be as progressive, as open, perhaps as talkative, because they're literally so unwell. But once they're back to their usual self, you know, and their body is healed, it's all back to like how they work, right? So I think that's really important to keep in mind here is that once they sort of get through these difficult moments, they will be back to being so much more progressive towards you. Um, basically, I just explained, I would say thoughts, feelings and intentions all in one. But I really had to explain this card because there's just, you know, it, that's the thing is that they kind of, they've got this sort of layer on top of them right now, which just feels like a very annoying film, you know, and basically uh, that will be healed, like that will dissolve. Um, so yeah, their thoughts towards you are that they do have this obsession towards you, they feel like you're so kind, but they've got so much going on that sometimes they can be hot and cold. They think about memories, okay, so that's interesting because we've got an energy here of nostalgia. Six of Cups is about nostalgia and romance, so they do think about the things that the two of you did together or the things that the two of you spoke about and the things that the two of you perhaps even... Um, I'm seeing expressions, right? So little smiles, glances, expressions. Those are the kinds of things I see them having thought about. So they do feel so connected to you. And like I said, no one has ever made them feel like this before. And that is pretty significant. Okay, so let's have a look what we also have in regards to thoughts. Well, I, <laughs> that one just flew out. So we have here, I need money. So remember I did mention that they could be very, very heavily focused right now on their career and their finances, their family and other issues. I think that they are very, very heavily concerned about um, sort of more financial aspects. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to put this on top here so that you can see kind of all your cards. Um, yeah, so see, they're thinking a lot about money, finances, stability in that sense. It's actually quite stressful for them. So that's definitely something we have there. Let's go to thoughts, their thoughts towards you. Princess of Swords. Ace of Cups, well actually Princess of Swords, I should probably put it here, do, 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 do. Queen of Pentacles, oh, okay, they came out together, their feelings, they do love you, remember I, I did I did drop the L bomb and I did say that they loved you, it's very obvious with the Ace of Cups and then the King and the Queen of Pentacles, right, they do have a lot of feelings towards you and these feelings are that they see you as a life partner, they see you as someone they can be with, they see you as someone who's so open and kind and caring and genuine and so loving that they feel like, oh my god, what if I don't find someone like you again? So they know that they need to do something, that's one thing I will say, and the Princess of Swords here shows that sometimes they kind of, um, you know, sometimes they, um, oh, what's the word? <laughs> you know when people try to, like, really push time, right? And what I mean by that is they try and buy time, buy time, buy time, they're now recognising and realising, okay, I can't bend the sword too much, I can't buy too much time because... What if you then find someone else? What if you get bored? What if you get frustrated at the situation and you move on, right? So they're realizing that time is basically running out and that they need to do something soon here. So those are their feelings. I mean, they feel so strongly towards you to the point where now they're starting to realize, oh my gosh, what if time runs out? What if you go towards someone else? I think they would be devastated, but also with the um, energy here, like clearly they are taking their time. But at the same time, they know they shouldn't be doing that oh it's one of those things you know which is why you may at times feel like things are so hot and cold because it's just like oh you know they they want to kind of have that aspect of their life together but at the same time they know that you won't want to like stick around waiting forever you know so um their feelings really are that you are life partner material right and they basically also want to be life partner material but they don't feel like they have everything together yet to be life partner material. Do you know what I mean? Like they want to be your equal. 
and right now they don't feel like they are because financially they want to get themselves to a stronger, stronger place, which is what I see. But in terms of love, I mean, it is there, you know? You know what sometimes they say, like, love isn't enough? Well, it's one of those things, isn't it, where they really want to get this sort of financial situation together as well. But yeah, they feel very strongly towards you here. I mean, they just feel like you are the one, basically. This is that energy, right? You are the one. Literally, with the king and the queen of pentacles. They want to commit. They do. But they also want to figure out their financial situation here. Okay, let's see. I hope you don't hate me. Well, there you go, right? They're really hoping that you don't hate them for buying time and making things very slow you know they, they're really really hoping that you you don't sort of hate them for that because it's just something that they are struggling with quite a bit right now okay so let's go to the intentions so these are the feelings right they're like they're actually feeling bad I, I genuinely do feel that they are feeling bad because they know that okay like you know I've really I'm really taking my time here and I should be a bit more progressive, a bit more open. They know that they need to communicate better, okay? So they're feeling bad because they know that they should be much more communicative and that's something that they're really lacking. So, well, at least they've made that um, connection in their mind. Intentions. Right, so we have got here Four of Cups with the Chariot, Four of Wands, wait, Four of Cups, Four of Wands, there we go, um, Sun, okay, so what's really quite fascinating here is the fact that the Four of Wands really does represent a significant energy of them intending to bring this connection into union and harmony and fulfillment and long-term commitment and stability. Wow, that was a lot of words there. <laughs> the sun here is about bloom and growth and bringing happiness and joy because they know that you have the ability to make them really, really happy. They also want to make you happy too. And right now, because they don't feel happy, you know, they feel like they can't give you that happiness. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, when they say like, you have to love yourself before you can love someone else. You have to um, put yourself first if you want like someone else to put, your, put, put you first. It's that kind of energy where they feel like they need to have themselves together in order to feel good. And then they feel like that would reflect in the connection itself as well. So look, their intention here is to progress things, but their intention right now is also to figure out their own situation as well okay so they intend to figure out their situation and then they intend to come towards you to progress this connection and to find you know this happiness that is sort of already there and to basically uncover it okay so the intention itself is really a process um through actions i can hear an airplane <laughs> um yeah so it's, it's a process right it's part of the journey no pun intended with the aeroplane flying over. Um, it's part of the journey. It's part of the process, actually. That's that's what the chariot also represents, right? It's really about sort of enjoying the journey rather than focusing on the destination. Four of Wands is an angel card. So some of you may find that this person feels to you like a soulmate or a twin flame. You feel such a strong, powerful, potent energy towards them. A lot of you might be seeing 1111, repeating signs, um, synchronicities, numbers, um, yeah, so that's what we see there is that their intention first and foremost is to try and put themselves first, which to you may feel a little bit like rejection. Um, but of course, then they want to come towards you with harmony, take the connection further, allow things to progress, allow things to move forward, and to basically build up the foundation of this connection to um, a stronger degree. So that's what we see there. Okay, so let's have a look here and see what the message card cards well card i guess okay if you don't have contact with this person we see an instagram follow some of you might not even have social media but this can be them um, friending you on social media this can be them wanting to connect you on social media um or basically keeping more contact with you in that sense 
So, you know, just keep in mind that that may not resonate with everyone, but that's okay, okay, because we did get two cards that came out, and then we had here, my stability is causing me problems, so there we go, right? It's literally what we spoke about right, right at the beginning. Um, this person wants to be stable, they want to get themselves together, they want to feel strong, happier, fulfilled, and that is really what's causing the issue here in this connection, is their own personal stability, emotionally, mentally, and also financially as well, right? So they want to really figure that out first before they come to you, and they know that time is running out, but uh, at the same time, they just feel very helpless, and so, you know, they still will show interest and want to keep up with you, and uh, will contact you from what I see, and do something to show that they are still around, but uh, this is definitely causing them some issues right now, which uh, they hope to uh, resolve and then come forward to progress the connection. Because the, the problem here is not the connection. It's their own personal stability, which they have acknowledged that you are not the problem. It's everything else going on for them, which is actually becoming the issue right now. So group number two, this is your reading with me. Um, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website, which thousands of people have seen results with. Um, so you can check out the review section on there as well. And yeah, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to view the short readings that I post on there every single day, feel free to join uh, there and just, you know, follow around or have a look <laughs> and uh, yeah take care everyone i hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are i'm sending lots of good energy and yeah we'll go to group number three now all right so let's take things away do, 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 do. the sun is shining today and uh, so far <laughs> both group one and group two had the sun card like that is uh, a synchronicity in itself isn't it love it okay let's go to group three <laughs> all right group number three this is your reading with me for their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you. So you have chosen this beautiful pile, which is a version of Rider Waite, and then this beautiful crystal as well. Very nice and iridescent, let's put it here. So I'm gonna do a 12 card spread. We're gonna have a look at their thoughts, feelings, and intentions. We'll go section by section. So we'll look at, first of all, thoughts, then feelings, and intentions. I'm also going to use the um, message cards as well. And so we'll definitely have a look and see exactly what is going through. Actually, they're the Mercury cards. All right. So so let's first and foremost start with their thoughts. Let's have a look at their thoughts towards you. Okay. Oh my gosh, I never realised this, but this deck is really heavy. It's probably the um, material that they use, but I, I just thought I'd mention that. It's, it's actually really heavy. I think it must be the heaviest deck I own. Okay, anyways, aside from that, there's an aeroplane flying over. <laughs> so I am an upright reader, and the interesting thing here is really the fact that I want to say something. All right, and I just want to say that it's going to resonate very heavily with some of you, and some of you might think to yourself, hmm, not really sure, okay? So I feel like this person has some kind of an addiction which keeps them in a not-so-great place. Now, remember that addictions come in so many different forms, right? There isn't just, like, one type. There's so many. And sometimes, you know, this can be um, very detrimental to uh, relationships. It can be very detrimental to uh, connections and things like that, but... The thing here is that, you know, this can be them really being obsessed with, you know, wanting uh, freedom, them wanting their own space, wanting their own time. For some of you, it could be like, you know, substances. Um, and for, for others, it could be, you know, certain habits that they have, right, which may not be so major, let's be honest, but it just keeps them in a place of uh, being stagnant. And uh, they may also have some emotional issues from their childhood, which sort of keep them from really being able to progress things further. Now, the interesting thing here is that that's the energy here, okay? Now, their thoughts towards you are also very much so dependent of the things that they have been through in the past, which is very, very interesting because they will heal from these things, but they do carry a lot of baggage, right? So oftentimes, you know, 
how we think and how somebody's thoughts are towards you is also dependent on things that they've been through in the past, things that they're currently going through. And those that doesn't mean that that's your problem, right? It means that there are other factors and situations which keep them in this place. So what I'm trying to say here is that their thoughts towards you are quite hot and cold. And there's, again, a multiple reason situation for that. Things from childhood, okay, can be trauma, baggage, things they haven't healed from, past connections that have been really difficult, very sad, very frustrating, heartbreaking for them. They may have been treated really badly, so they keep their their distance a little bit, you know, they, they like to be 100% sure before they move so quickly because they want to protect themselves. So they're quite slow, okay? The other thing also with the devil is this sense of, well, how do I describe this? Again, it, you know, I mentioned addiction, but it's also this sense of like wanting to be careful and not wanting to um, go through like a toxic dynamic and situation. Again, it's not to say that you're toxic, but they really want to protect themselves basically, okay? So temperance here also shows protection. So basically their thoughts towards you are, I need to take things slow because I've been hurt in the past before. I have a lot of difficulties with certain things that I'm dealing with right now. And I really need to just take my time, right? Time, healing, difficulties, right? So I know it was like a really long winded way of explaining things, but in all honesty, if I just said like, oh, hey guys, like they just want to take their time. I think you'd have a lot of questions behind that. You'd be thinking, but why? Why do they want to take their time? What's the reason? Is it me? Like, is it my problem? No, it's not your problem. It's the things that they've been through in the past and certain habits that they have accumulated because of um, that. So they may have certain coping mechanisms, right? Some of it, may, for some of them, it may be drinking. For some of them, it may be ignoring their emotions altogether, right? So these are the kinds of um, addictions and things that we're talking about. So that's really, you know, the way that they cope. And um, that's what I see is that they just want to be 100% sure. And it's not extreme, okay, for, for many of them. For some of you, it may be like extreme and you'll pick up on that. You'll be like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. For some of you, it's, it's so simple as sort of running away from their emotions and sometimes being hot and cold, you know, and uh, that's like a cycle and a habit that sort of needs to be broken can be broken with healing but that's that's what happens is that they feel like you're a really kind caring genuine person and they are coming towards you slowly but surely you know progressing towards you but again their things from their past really do keep them very held back and as time goes by they'll recognize that they need to heal from this first and foremost all right so i know it was like a very long-winded way of explaining things but hopefully that detail and information really helps you to sort of understand exactly what's going on and then why they are the way they are towards you because it's not necessarily your fault it's how they have been you know through things in the past which uh, we wish them plenty of healing for okay which they will go through so let's get a mercury message card here for their thoughts <laughs> well just like knock everything out I want to apologize all right so they know that this is not your fault they know that you know they are taking their time and it's because of everything they've been through and I feel like you know they can come forward oh I'm so sorry my hair is on there um they can come forward and apologize as well as time goes by so you know that's really the thing that I'm seeing here is you know give them um some time um you don't need to wait for them, okay? Like, I never recommend waiting. I always recommend, you know, you do your own thing, let them come to you, let them, you know, prove themselves towards you. You don't always need to be the one doing everything and running and chasing and, you know, going in that direction. You can always take some time for yourself, put yourself first, do you. That's a very healthy and very good thing to do for yourself as well. So definitely recommend that. Um, but yeah, they, they are thinking about apologizing because they do feel in some ways that they could be a bit more progressive. At times, they also feel like they could do a bit more, you know, but... It's just the circumstances around that. Okay, feelings. King of Wands, they're physically very attracted to you. Magician, they feel like they need to communicate a lot more with you. All right, so they know what they need to do. Trust me on that. Page of Wands. And, ooh, okay, I've got... Do you know what? I'm going to take these three cards because I think quite significant okay there we go right um yeah let's do that that and that great they all fit on there beautifully right so king of wands they feel so 
physically attracted to you, okay? You really do make them feel that way. Now, it's not just about physical intimacy, where they feel attracted to you, but also in terms of emotions, right? They do have a tendency to run away from emotions from time to time. However, you also have made them feel a way that no one else has in terms of your emotions and how caring and kind you are. They feel like a lot of people have just kind of left them in the cold, in the dark, and that you never really ever did that. And so the King of Cups here shows that they feel very grateful towards you and they feel really connected towards you in that sense and they are very genuinely thankful for that. But also that level of emotional, um, emotional intensity is a lot for them to handle, you know, because they feel like, oh my god, like, you know, what if it's the same cycle or what happens in the past? What if I get heartbroken, hurt again? So again, they sort of close off from time to time. They do get chaotic in their mind, right? So chaotic in the sense of they just start to worry, basically, like, oh my gosh, like, what if I, you know, get hurt again? Or what if I go through this and it, you know, makes things worse? So that's what I see with the Five of Wands is that they really like what you bring to the table but they also get scared, like, what if this is too good to be true? So, you know, their feelings towards you are one of, like, feeling grateful, but also thinking, wait a second, is this too good to be true? You know, and, and feeling overwhelmed with that sense, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, like, they feel like you're so kind, so caring, so, so genuine, um, and so loving, and again, really attractive, um, and they also feel like you would fit in very well with their family, which is another interesting thing that I pick up on, because you just come across as so, so nice and so genuine. How many times am I going to see, say the word genuine in this reading? But you are, that's the thing, <laughs> right? So, yeah, their feelings are that they, they know they need to definitely pursue you and be so much more proactive with you. So um, the pursuing energies are the court cards, which are the, the pages, the knights, the kings and the queens, right? So, well, actually you've got the knight there as well. So that's what we see. They, um, they are thinking and feeling that, okay, you know, slowly... But surely I will do a bit more of this. So they definitely um, are feeling strong towards you, but also sometimes they feel like things are too good to be true. So basically with time, they'll recognize, okay, this is not too good to be true. Like you are genuine and you are there and you have been, you're not really going anywhere. So um, it's that kind of energy. I mean, you know, the thing when I said like, you're not going anywhere is the sense that you're not gonna like leave them in ruins. And what I mean by that is that you're not gonna treat them the way that other people treat them. You know, it's, it's okay for you to take time for yourself and not wait around for them, but I don't see you like being really harsh and mean and really rude to them like people in the past have been towards them. That, that's what I mean by that. Okay, so message card, all their feelings. They know, they know, they know they should be doing more. Trust me on this one, right? They want to apologize, they want to say I'm sorry. That's their thought and their feelings. They know they need to do so much more. Again, those court cards really speak volumes. Intentions. No, as a tarot reader, these cards are like really, they're like working out my upper arms. This is like good exercise actually. Um, in many ways, because it's like, it's like a weight for your, <laughs> for your arms. Okay. By the way, if anyone's wondering where I got this deck, um, I got it off of Etsy, and if you type in Rider Weight on Etsy, you should be able to find it. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere else, to be honest, but it has got the pink border, of course. All right. Anywho. We got extra cards here for you. <laughs> Group number three. You got extra cards in your reading. Cool. Right, so you can see them quite nicely as well, so that's nice. Um, intentions. Eight of Pentacles, working towards you, slowly but surely, putting in a bit more consistency, even compromising a bit more, I feel, as well. So there will be a bit more that I feel will happen. Two of Cups, they want to be a bit more progressive, a bit more open um, towards you. So they intend to progress the connection further, but by getting through these issues and problems that they've been facing. So at some point, look, trust me, they will get to the end of everything they're facing there with healing. It can take a bit of time for that to happen, but I definitely feel here with the Ten of Cups that they will get to that end point where they just are fed up of, you know um feeling like that's the one thing that just holds them back in every area of their life they will then start to see that actually do you know what it's it's going to be so much more rewarding to see where this connection goes than to put it off based off based on what other people have done to them because they'll start to realize well actually you know what i'm feeling power to what they've done to me and i'm not living my life and uh, they'll start to realize that actually the reward of having you in their life is 
much greater than the the like risk of things going wrong you know um if that makes sense right because they'll start to realize that actually do you know what i i want you more and even if i get rejected or even if i get hurt you know by you they will they will think that actually do you know what at least i tried so there's that energy here of them definitely you know getting to the end of a lot of these struggles that they face with healing um and of course wanting to make things work the three of cups is a card of union and joy and happiness and working through things making things happen and the eight of uh, wands here is about forward progression you know through a lot of their challenges and difficulties that they've faced to allow things to come together in beautiful harmony and to progress things with you through consistency so the energies are very beautiful they're very powerful they're quite strong i like what i'm seeing here i think that it's nice <laughs> i think that it's nice what what can i say um and then you've also got here instagram message as well okay so you know, for some of you, this makes a lot of sense because you might be on Instagram. For other people, this is about really connecting to you quite strongly on any other kind of like social media or however you contact one another. This is about, you know, communication and contacting and them actually wanting to, you know, be more progressive and telling you, you know, how they feel and things like that. And actually like telling you and also showing you through actions once they get to sort of that 10. Remember that when you get to the 10, the cycle starts again from the ace right? So they will get to that 10 and then they won't want to be there again. That rhymed. Wow, I should be a poet. <laughs> no, just kidding. So yeah, that's what I see. And I do feel here that in terms of intentions, I do feel that they will want to communicate. This message here is mainly communication, right? So they're, they're thinking and feeling that they need to do something here um, and tell you that they're sorry and to apologize. And basically in their intention, they will. So that is really what we're seeing there. So group number three, if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course intention items which are on my um, website as well, which thousands of people have seen results with. And uh, yeah, check it all out in the description box below and I'll see you all very soon. All right, so now we're gonna go to group four. Take these away. Ooh, green pile. This is this is stunning. All right, group number four, this is your reading with me for their thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards you and for you. So we're gonna have a look, see what's coming through. You have chosen this absolutely stunning green pile. So we've got the green crystal here, so beautiful. I'm gonna put it to the side. So we're gonna have a look into um, each sort of aspect. We're gonna do a 12 card spread and uh, pick up on their thoughts, feelings, and intentions with the tarot. And then also a sort of like, um, message card for each section as well. So let's start with their thoughts towards you. So let's shuffle and see their thoughts towards you. Okay, we've got a bonus card. Got a lot of these keys here. Wow. Okay, so we got this uh, seven. We have the eight. We have the nine. And they did come out separately. I know that they've kind of come out consecutively in the sense of the cards actually, like, you know, in that sense, but they actually came out separately. And then you've got the ten. Okay, so these kind of remind me of the the wand energies right and then you've also got here alchemy as well which is uh pretty fascinating this is sort of the uh, energy of temperance as i like to see and also got that sort of energy there as well right so let's put that actually right in the middle there 
what I'm seeing in terms of their thoughts so is that the thoughts are very progressive towards you and sometimes they may have a habit of overthinking things, right? As soon as they have one thought, it just basically brings through a chain reaction of more and more thoughts and then they realise that they're overthinking things and they can feel very burdened. I mean, just look at that card, right? There's so many, there's so much happening with all of these keys crossed over and they can just feel like, oh my gosh, I need to like stop overthinking so much and just enjoy the process. They can feel very easily overwhelmed very, very quickly and that's really one of the biggest things that I'm seeing here um, in their thoughts is that once they start to have one thought they they start to have so many more and that's because the connection between the two of you is like really intense to the point where they just feel like it just goes in that direction so so fast and so quickly and then they can't stop their thoughts and so they do get overwhelmed by by all of that which is something that I am picking up on but that's not necessarily your fault also with alchemy here as well you know they are starting to think that, you know what, let me just go with the flow, let me not get too frustrated, let me not get too overwhelmed, you know, let me just take some time for myself and just enjoy the process. And that's what I see here with these two cups, you know, is just to enjoy the process and to not get so worried about everything else by overthinking things like basically they're trying to stop overthinking that's that's what's happening here and that's what they're thinking um, in relation to you because it's not that it's your fault necessarily it's more so that the connection and the um intensity of feelings that they have towards you is just so strong to the point where they start to think like oh my god but what if it's like this what if it's like this what if it's like this what if this is too much like what if I'm doing too much like what if I'm messaging too much what if I'm not doing enough you know like there's just they're feeling very overwhelmed basically okay and they're also starting to think like oh my god this is moving really fast like too quickly like oh my gosh you know so it's almost like they're trying to slow things down to um to not feel overwhelmed and for some of you you may not even have yeah some of you might be watching this and you may not really have so much going on and that's because they are slowing the connection down if that makes sense so that they can actually digest everything and understand the entire connection which is why if you're watching this and you're like but moonlight like there's nothing really happening here that's because they have already slowed it down and for, for some of you they're like thinking, okay, wait a second, I need to slow things down. So just keep that in mind, you know, some of you may not even have contact with this person, which is interesting because again, they, they jump to conclusions, which is another thing that I see as well. You know, if you do something really nice for them, they can start to feel really overwhelmed and think like, oh my gosh, like, is this too good to be true? Is this too much? You know, so um, it's not to say that you're too much, but they, they definitely don't want to get hurt. And they feel like, when things go too quickly, they can't stay in control because I feel like they have a need for control and they like to like know what's going to happen and how it's going to happen, but also that they feel comfortable in it. You know, they don't like feeling out of control. They like to be in the driver's seat, making sure they're in control of the car. That, that's literally it. If they feel like they're out of control, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's just too much, you know, and they, then they withdraw and they have to put on the brakes. The whole situation so their thoughts are quite you know intense in that sense but also that they're slowing 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 down a bit okay feelings so yeah they just want to go with the flow here and enjoy the process but also understand and digest everything first feelings we have here well it's interesting isn't it how i mentioned I think that actually this is the more earth energy, to be honest, with the keys, and then this must be the wand energy. Regardless, though, that would still be a very, very similar energy, regardless, um, especially within the 7, the 8, the 9, the 10, right? Because regardless of the suit, it is a very progressive energy where they just feel like, oh my god, so much, so much is happening, and so much is progressing very fast, can't handle it, right? So regardless of that. Now here, we have this too. Okay, and this really shows that they do feel like you're a very balanced person, you're super kind, very caring, and that there is a sense here of the two of you being able to understand one another. The The only issue I see here is that they, they have a need for control, and if it's too fast, they tend to get worried and scared and overwhelmed, basically. Oh yeah, I was going to pull a Mercury message card, hold on a second. Let's have a look at their thought here. We got two. I'm going to take that top one actually, which is soon. All right. So um, it's interesting because soon everything will harmonize a lot more, right? So even if you don't have contact with this person or you do have contact with this person, soon things will harmonize and they'll, you know, be back to kind of being a bit more progressive, a bit more um, mutual, you know, and um, they just don't like it when things move so quickly to the point where they don't have control. That's, that's the moral of the story there. 
Okay, so feelings, judgment, sun, moon. Okay, sun and moon, counterparts, judgment, another major arcana. So you've got three major arcanas there. Their feelings towards you here is that they do overthink things a lot, right? They judge things a lot. They kind of get overwhelmed. They scare themselves. They frustrate themselves. Um, they just feel quite overwhelmed but they also do feel like you are a ray of sunshine you are so unique and different and genuine you bring positivity into their life that they've never felt before and you really light you know you light up the sky in that sense i mean even with the moon here as well they have hidden feelings for you that they don't necessarily always express to you so a lot of these feelings are that you are so you know genuine and so kind and so amazing like i've never met somebody like you but also with judgment here as well they do very much so think to themselves what if this is too much right because this is scorpio and pluto energy which is about intensity what do they feel here intensity right and so they feel like oh my gosh but what if this is like too good to be true that's too much you know so that's that's another thing that they do get um quite worried about hence they can be at times hot and cold a bit all over the place but um, as time goes by they will harmonize a lot more towards the connection and make things happen um a lot more as well from what i'm seeing so yeah, it's really a thing that we are picking up on um, pretty significantly as well. So it's not the end of the world, let's say. Um, it just really is a process here of them trying to like also get themselves together um, and feel better and also stronger as well. So that's really one of the biggest things that I will say here. So yeah, their feelings towards you, I mean, look, they really do care towards you, but they also sometimes get very overwhelmed, all right? And that's really the biggest thing that we see here, but they still also do feel like things can progress between the two of you, because we saw that with alchemy, right? Um, right there. Um, and so soon, you know, they'll be much more harmonious with the sun and the moon energy and a bit more progressive towards you. So that's, again, very good. Don't ever change who you are okay so they would tell you that look this is not your fault this is just me overthinking everything um, and getting quite frustrated you are a very genuine and kind and caring person they don't want to change you okay they they don't want to change you if, if even if you go you know really fast paced they know that they have to adapt and they have to also understand that as well so yeah they they really just like you the way that you are it's just that they know that they need to sort of figure things out as well on their side so in terms of intentions Came out really fast. She'll get the message card out as well. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we've got here the Six of Pentacles energy. Okay, well, clearly, fascinating here. Well, so this is not Earth energy, but okay like i mentioned so you've got the two keys there as well which um, is fascinating you've got uh, six with the pentacles here you've got the queen of elixirs you've got the prince of elixirs and the ace of keys yep so they're the key the suit is the keys all right so intention wise okay this is about commitment right they intend in time to commit to you to basically bring things together in harmony and that's what they want to do they want commitment they want a future they want love in the future with you prince of elixirs they want to be more progressive okay so at times you may feel like this person's maybe sometimes a little bit more immature than you you know they come across as more of a prince you come across as a queen whether you're male or female just want to say you know regardless of um, gender i look at energies not genders so that's one of the biggest things here we don't specifically look at you know genders unless we're like in a private reading and I you know see something that like really resembles your energy. Um, but the thing here with the Queen of Elixirs as well is a really really powerful and potent energy, which is to do with the fact that they do want to progress things with you. They do want to make things happen with you. They do feel physically attracted to you, and um, yeah, they intend on basically progressing things with you in a pace, okay, and in a pace that feels good for them, a mutual pace that just feels flowing, um, not a whole lot of pressure, and it just feels very nice and relaxing. And 
with their intention here, look, I sometimes want to surprise you at your home. So that's interesting, right? They intend on doing more towards you. They do intend on sort of taking their own time, um, doing things at their own pace towards you, and basically in time committing to you because they do recognize and realize that you're a very special person. They just overwhelm themselves. And so soon we do see here, you know, some good um, changes coming where, you know, they like you as you are and they want to basically progress and make things happen with you. So they will, you know, in time, they will absolutely kind of get through some of those thoughts that are quite overwhelming for them and be more progressive. So group number four, this is your reading with me. And if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And yeah, I really hope that you all take care, have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And of course, I have TikTok and Instagram where I post short readings every single day on there. So do check that out if you want to, if you want to follow me on there. And take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye.